Scalp Micropigmentation Cost Cost of Scalp Micropigmentation SMP Hair or Hair Tattoo which is rapidly becoming a preferred method of scalp hair tattoo or hair micropigmentation is discussed scientifically here. Hi everyone, I am Dr. Preeti Saraswat, cosmetologist, micropigmentation expert and diplomat of American Board of Hair Restoration Surgery. Welcome to the educational video series of Saraswat Hospital. Please type yes in the comment section below if you are already aware about scalp micropigmentation procedure or click on the link above if you are new to this procedure and you want to learn more about the same. Let us now talk about scalp micropigmentation cost. We would be discussing the actual SMP cost figures in India shortly but before we do Allow me to narrate the factors on which the cost of SMP depends. Any procedure which is performed will have three types of variables. Number one, the equipments used. Number two, the person doing the procedure. And number three, the person on whom the procedure is done, which is you. Let's consider the first variable and see what equipments are used and how they affect the cost of SMP. The pigment or ink used should be sterile, organic, formulated with high quality, having natural ingredients and semi-permanent. This is important as the inks are meant to be deposited in the upper layer of scalp. The needles used should be sterile, single-use disposable, having a membrane to prevent backflow of ink which has come in contact with the tissue to prevent any contagious disease from spreading amongst patients. Also in order to achieve a three-dimensional illusion of an emerging terminal hair follicle, we use a tri-cannulated needle with cannulas so near that naked eye assumes as one terminal hair. For softer and thinner hair, like the ones near the hairline, we use a single cannula needle which gives dimension of thin hair as are present on the hairline. The machine for SMP. This machine is very different from the body tattoo machine as the pricks per second, depth, vibration of the machine all determine the final result of SMP. If someone uses a non-calibrated, substandard, high vibration machine, it would never give state-of-the-art results which we aspire to achieve. Thus you see, procuring all these standard equipments usually needs us to import from best of makers which increases the cost of the procedure but assures best of results. I remember when we had just started the practice of SMP, one of our female patients wanted to have it done for her hair densification in burn scar area on her scalp where we had already done a single session of hair transplantation. At that time, we had purchased a locally owned SMP machine and accessories not knowing the complete details. With the initial dots only when we started doing, we realized the ink was a normal tattoo ink which gave a bluish hue to the scalp. The needle had no depth control and the machine had immense vibration causing blotched appearance. We had to discard the machine and also had to remove those dots by Q-switch laser. Afterwards, we got trained with the best of the team in this field in England the finishing touches group and introduced the best of SMP system in our practice. This really helped us in delivering the best of services in this field, keeping the best of quality. Goes without saying, we never regretted the decision. The second most important variable to check is what is the qualification of the person or the team who is doing SMP on you? SMP is undoubtedly a semi-invasive procedure. This utilizes needles to deposit inks on upper layer of dermis on human beings. So why shouldn't it be done by people who have sound knowledge of anatomy of skin and a medical team with a special training in micropigmentation? Last but not the least, 
important variable in SMP result and cost is the person on whom SMP is to be done, that is you. How? What is the condition of your scalp, whether it's oily, dry, has dandruff, eruptions or other problems? Best results in least number of sessions is seen in normal scalps with no disease. Oily scalps due to their oily nature tend to push the ink away repeatedly and thus may require more sessions than dry scalps. When we do SMP, every session requires new needles and new ink dilutions. We have seen that commonly three sessions are sufficient for a normal dry scalp. This we can understand as the first session is to act as a foundation of the building, the second as building itself and the third as finer touches here and there to make it perfect. Thus to be economical it is nice to opt for a package of three sessions and then go for further sessions if required paying along as single sessions. Now reviewing the actual charges of the procedure. An important fact to be considered here is that a simple body art tattoo of 5 to 6 square inches can cost you 10 to 15,000 INR, almost 200 to 250 dollars minimum. SMP is a medical grade scalp tattoo done with so many specifications as discussed. A local machine with substandard inks and needles may cost you 10 to 15,000 or so. But a standard machine with state-of-the-art needles where more than one may be required in a single case for best results and harmless inks may cost you anywhere between 15 to 40,000 per session depending upon the area required for SMP. Usually we consider 1x3, 2x3 or full scalp as the working area and provide economic packages to the patients for a bulk session of 3 sessions ranging from 40,000 for one third scalp to 75,000 for two thirds of the scalp and 1,5,000 for full scalp respectively which is 20 to 30 percent discounted than per session price. Also extended sessions after these sessions if required are further discounted by more than 25 percent. Thus concluding my talk, I would like to bring to your kind attention that please don't always go for the cheapest, check the qualification of the team leader, the equipments used and the inks and needles used and beware of malpractices.